Arsenal crossing in on signing Aaron Ramsdale. Welcome to the Football News Top 10s and Lifestyle Zone. <laughs> there, how are you guys? Where are you watching in from? For us, we are down here in the Pearl of Africa, which goes by names of Uganda. And thank you guys for watching in. I really like the love that you're really showing me this channel. Remember, we got monetized courtesy of you guys. Thank you for your watch time, for your subscription in there. But let's let, let's let this channel go and grow big and beta in there. Now, we get into this Arsenal story. It's our first story of the day. Sorry, today we are late because of the the circumstances that we are unavoidable but thank god we are live in here onto the football news now we got a team which goes by names of arsenal struggling really to get a replacement of a man who goes by names of martinez in there remember martinez deputized did deputized Leno for some time when Leno really got got injured into the season of 2019-2020. He came on and he was in goal for like 15 games, 15-20 games of the season and he really made Arsenal fans not even regret of not having a man who goes by names of Leno onto their goal in there. So, but things changed and a team which goes by the names of, by the names of a team which goes by names of Aston Villa came through and really did the deed for to really sign a man who goes by names of Martinez because Martinez had reached a level of not really of not really being on bench after his performance at Arsenal and really he performed very well and he he by the way extended his class to lead Argentina to their first ever Copa America championship in there after saving three penalties of a team which goes by names of Peru because Peru had turned out to be a very hard knack to crack for a team which goes by names of Argentina. They played the 90 minutes into extra time and guess what happened? They went to penalties. Martinez saved three penalties. It didn't even let it. It it, 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 it even it never it, it never want it never needed Messi to go in and take that penalty. The last one for Argentina because the goalkeeper, the former Arsenal goalkeeper Martinez, had done everything. Now it shows you that Arsenal really are looking for a replacement for Martinez in there because he was really a very good backup goalkeeper. Last year he played very well at him, which goes by names of Aston Villa in there. And Arsenal look like they're really yearning to get a player who goes by names of Aaron Ramsdale. And it looks like Arsenal really want to increase the number of English players they're having because they say that you must be having eight English players into your squad into your 23 man squad sorry 26 man squad they have to submit now we look at Astro the English players they're having Callum Chambers mm, Rob Holding Saka Midland Nails Willock is gone who else do they have Smith Rowe so I think Arsenal, and they have been white. So I think Arsenal really wants me to get in a crop of English players at its team because the more English players you have into your squad, it means that you are really at a very good chance of really being saved sometimes because some referees are biased because they don't really want to act badly onto the English players in the Premier League unless that player really does something worse in there. But all in all, Arsenal are really closing in on a deal to get Aaron Ramsdale back to the Emirates in there because I think he was an academy. He's an academy graduate in there, but he couldn't really find himself a place into the goal of a team which goes by the names of Arsenal in there. So to me, I really feel like it's high time. Arsenal got themselves a goalkeeper because they really look like the likes of Okonko and the Reynison in there. They're not at a level of really backing up a man who goes by the names of, of Leno in there. They're not giving him enough competition in there to compete for his place. So, the Arsenal Bell has come out and tweeted the following that. Confirming an exclusive news of journalist Chris Whitley, we have grown we have grown to know the club made progress in its bid to sign a goalkeeper last night after fruitful talks with Sheffield United regarding Aaron Ramsdale. A source familiar with the negotiations tells us the deal is not closed yet, but it is moving in that direction in there. So that means the deal is moving in the right direction. You never know tomorrow you might get a here we go from a team which goes from, from Arsenal or Fabricio Romano that Aaron Ramsdale to Arsenal is a done deal because Arsenal really want this deal. But the problem that is stopping this deal not happen immediately is the amount of money that Sheffield values Ramsdale. Sheffield is va Sheffield values Ramsdale at 30 million pounds. Arsenal has already made two bids that have been rejected. One of 20 million pounds was rejected. Then Arsenal raised and added all topped up 4 million pounds in there to, to make it 24 and they are saying no in there. So Arsenal really feels like he's the last man, he's the right man to come in and replace a man who goes with the names 
of sorry and back and back up or deputize a man who goes by the names of Leno and he can really give him a very good chess for the position of the goalkeeper of Arsenal in there. So Arsenal are really yearning to get a man who goes by the names of Ramsdale in there. And when you look at the news, Chris Whitley has come out also and said the following on Arsenal London in there that Arsenal are really closing in on a man who goes by the names of Aaron Ramsden in there. Arsenal close in on goalkeeper signing as Mikel Ateta identifies Bernard Leno backup. All right. The Gunners want to, to bring in a homegrown goalkeeper this summer and have identified Ramsdale as the perfect backup for perfect perfect backup for Bernard Leno in there. Arsenal are in advance talks to sign Sheffield goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. Foot, football London understands the Gunners switched their attention to homegrown to homegrown alternative for Bernard Leno several weeks ago after init initially making contact with the representatives of Ajax shortstopper Andre Onana. By the way, talk of Onana, by the way. Guys, talk of Onana. Onana was so much linked to Arsenal in there. I remember, I remember Onana into that season of 2018-2019 when Ajax really came out and played very well with the likes of Matthias Delit, Dijon, Danny Van Bink, <laughs> Ziyech, Tadic, you remember that squad of a team which goes by the names of Ajax? It was really untouchable. It was really buzzing in there. So to me, I really think that Arsenal are really closing in a perfect deal for a man who goes by the names of Ramsdale. But Onana has been onto what we call their, on, the, on, on their shortlist. Onana had adopted the goalkeepers because Arsenal are looking, started this season while looking for a goalkeeper, a central defender, a CDM and an attacking, a central attacking midfielder. And these were the people that were on the top list. <laughs> central defender, the goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Central defender, Ben White, read at us, you know. CDM, Besuma Locatelli. Central attacking midfielder, a man who goes by the names of James Madison in there. So those are the four players that Arsenal felt like, if at all, if they add them to their squad, they will get them. But Arsenal is still chasing on. Andre Onana was the goalkeeper, sorry. It was not Aaron Ramsdale. Andre Onana was the first choice goalkeeper for Arsenal to land this time in the summer, but it has not yet happened. And they feel like the deal has died off and it's not he's no longer going to come in there. He was linked to is it Marseille, Reigns and Marseille in France. That's where he was linked in there. And I think we'll go that side because he comes in from Cameroon. Cameroon speaks French, and I think they don't have so much problems if at all they are playing that side especially the side of france in there so arsenal look like aaron ramsdale is really going to come through at arsenal because even the game that they played via the weekend that sheffield won one nil the championship aaron ramsdale never appeared into the starting lineup of sheffield and he never made it to the bench even though the manager of sheffield has come out and said no that's not the case no that's not the case let me quote his own words because he said the following these are the words of the sheffield manager there is nothing in his absence he nothing Djakovic, Djakanovic said that is the manager of a team which goes by the names of Sheffield. I just needed to give some players a chance and others a rest. That's what the manager said. But I need to see what other people can do in case something happens. What other options we have and what other choices are here in there. So that's what the manager really said. The deadline is ending on 31st August. I remember 20 days to go for the transfer deadline. And Arsenal really want to land Lutalo Martinez deal, Madison deal, and Aaron Ramsdale deal. Three deals for Arsenal to go. I don't know whether Arsenal will come in and do these deals as soon as possible, but you can as well go into the comments and tell us to think about Arsenal wanting to sign Aaron Ramsdale in there, and they are closing in for a deal of Aaron Ramsdale in there. Thank you guys for watching in. This is Rokan David onto the Football News Top 10s and Lifestyle Zone. That has been the story of Aaron Ramsdale in here, closing in a deal as Arsenal really want him to be one of their players at a team which goes by the names of Arsenal in there at Emery. They want him to deputize a man who comes by names of Leno, and I feel like even a lad who goes by names of Aaron Ramsdale can really come through and really take the number one spot at a team which goes by names of Arsenal. So, your thoughts and opinions are welcome into the comment section below. Tell us what you think about Aaron Ramsdale closing in at a deal to join a team which goes by the names of Arsenal. Arsenal feel like they have to meet the 30 million pound valuation for a team which goes by the names of Sheffield where Aaron Ramsdale plays in right now. And all in all, we wait and see what happens. <laughs> but remember, Arsenal on Friday are opening up the Premier League with Brentford at away at Brentford and Arsenal looks like they're really not in good shape. But we wait and see what Mikel Ateta really has for us this season as Arsenal closes in for Aaron Ramsdale.